Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Steven here, and welcome to another weekly LEGO Deals for the week of October 29th, 2023. And this week, there's a ton going on as far as LEGO deals, leaks, announcements, everything. So I'm actually going to take this week's video and make it into a two-parter where part one, this video, we talk about all the Lego deals for the week. And then ultimately in part two, we'll just have a bunch of fun talking about all the Lego leaks and announcements, including that brand new Lego leak about the Lego Modular Natural History Museum. As always though, if you end up liking this video or if you just wanna support the channel, consider giving this video a thumbs up or subscribing. But let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into those deals. And as we do each week, let's start with the Lego shop and this week's gifts with purchase, which sadly there's nothing right now as everything sold through. However, the Lego Ideas blog did reveal an upcoming gift with purchase that's coming November 1st, which is set 40595 Tribute to Galileo Galilei a diorama which actually was the winner of the Lego Icons Contest Ready, Set, Go Stim back in 2022 from at Firecracker underscore, which this final design that Lego has is very similar actually to the original submission, and at least in my opinion, looks really good. Though admittedly, I lean towards appreciating the scientific sets more, but... Like I said, this set will be available starting November 1st through November 16th for qualifying purchases of $130 or more. And ultimately, we'll know more if there's any theme limitations or other details starting November 1st or if those details happen to leak earlier. All right, moving on to the actual Lego deals for the week. And let's start over at Target as they have some deals in their ad this week. But actually, let me first mention that if you're a military personnel, a veteran, or a member of a military family, Target is doing an extended period of a 10% off discount just for you from October 29th today to November 11th to celebrate Veterans Day. Sadly, I did check this does exclude Lego purchases, but I love when places do things like this, so I just wanted to highlight it. Also, Target and Best Buy, we'll get to them, have already started doing some of their Black Friday deals. And Target is also doing this holiday price match guarantee where if anything goes lower at Target during the time period of October 22nd, to December 24th, Target will price match it. Of course, they threw in the some exclusions apply language, but you know. But going over to Target's actual ad for this week, and it they don't really include anything I would consider Black Friday special for their Lego deals. However, they're continuing to do 20% off multiple themes, and this week, the themes are Lego City, Lego Disney Princess, and Lego Star Wars. There's actually a total of 230 sets on sale, if you include all of the sets at Target that are on sale. However, specific to this ad and the 20% off is actually 81 sets. So there's a bunch of them. I'm going to run through just some of them to highlight, but I'm going to try to do this quick because I, I did highlight quite a few. Starting with Lego City, they have the 4 Plus Vet Van Rescue toy on sale for $8. Again, all these are 20% off. The Lego City 4x4 Off-Roader, which is $24. The Lego City Mobile Police Dog Training Set, also $24. The Lego City Stunts Dunk Stunt Ramp, which is $24. The Lego City Advent Calendar, which you can get for $28. The Lego City Ice Cream Shop, which you can get for $32. The Lego City Fire Command Unit, which is on sale for $52. As well as the Lego City Arctic Explorer Truck and Mobile Lab, which is on sale for $60. And comes with the Lego Polar Bears, which I think is the best part of the set. 
Then there's the Lego City Stunts Ultimate Stunt Riders Challenge, which is on sale for $80. Going to Lego Disney Princess, they have the Frozen Anna and Elsa's Magical Carousel for $16. The Lego Disney Princess Creative Castles playset on sale for $28 that includes Belle and Cinderella. And the big Lego Frozen Ice Castle on sale for $176 which originally this cost $200, so you know this is only $24 off that original retail price, but you know inflation bumped it to 220, so not a bad deal. I have not seen this set on sale very frequently, so if it's one you've been waiting for, $176, not a bad price. Then going to Lego Star Wars, they have the new Mandalorian Pirate Snub Fighter on sale for $28, as well as the Lego Clone Wars Yoda Starfighter on sale for $28. And then a set I know that's been very popular with people is the Lego Star Wars Republic Fighter Tank, which includes Mace Windu and his clone troopers, and it's on sale for $32. And again, this isn't a set I see on sale very frequently. Then there's the new Lego Star Wars to New Jedi Temple, and it's on sale for $32 as well. And then the Mandalorian Spider Tank is also on sale for $20. I really love this set in particular. All of the LEGO Star Wars helmets are on sale, including the Target exclusives like the Princess Leia Boosh helmet and the LEGO Star Wars Dark Trooper helmet. You can get both of those for $56. The LEGO Star Wars Ambush on Ferrix, the Andor set, is on sale for $56. Personally, I'm really hoping this will go on sale for even more, like maybe 30% off during Black Friday, but, you know, we'll see. I'm kind of tempting fate with this one. Then the Lego Star Wars BD-1 droid is on sale for $80, as well as the Lego Star Wars Inquisitor Transport Scythe, which you can get for $80 in case you missed it when it was on sale for $70. Then going over to Best Buy, and yesterday they started doing their early Black Friday deals for members. So it's their paid membership for Best Buy Plus and Best Buy Total if you happen to be a part of that. Personally, I don't think the deals, at least for Lego, have ever been good enough to justify that membership price. But if you buy a lot of other things at Best Buy, you know, maybe. However, their early Black Friday deals do become available for everyone starting tomorrow October 30th. The deals at Best Buy right now as part of this range from 10% off to 30% off, but there are not a lot that are on sale for 30% off just as a spoiler. So I was not super impressed by the deals they have available right now, which is why I didn't do anything earlier and just saved it to kind of recap things this Sunday. And honestly, for me, that's been kind of par for the course with these Best Buy sales, these Best Buy member sales. However, some that I will highlight include the Lego Idea Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone, which you can normally get right now for $66. But if you have one of these memberships, you can take an extra $6 off that price and get it for 25% off. Then they have the Lego Ideas Home Alone House, on sale for $40 off its current retail price of $300. But remember, this old price used to be $250. So the fact that you're only getting it for $260, not even the original retail price, kind of sours this deal, unless you're just really anxious and want to get this before Christmas comes around. But probably the best deal that they have with this and might be closer to what you would consider worth it is the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition, which is on sale for $70 off if you're a Plus or Total member, which is by far the best deal I've ever seen on this set, and I can't even remember if I've seen this set on sale prior to this. However, the sticking point here is you have to be a Best Buy Plus or Total member to get this deal. Then moving over to Costco... And Costco's actually doing an online-only Wicked Deals for Halloween that's actually running from the 27th 
to Tuesday the 31st on Halloween. Sadly, so far, they haven't added any Lego sets as a part of this deal, but Costco is continuing to add to their online selection of Lego sets, this time with the Lego Technic Audi RS Q e-tron, which is normally retailing for $180, but Costco right now has it for $20 off, and you can pick it up for $160. Then finishing up all these deals with the Lego coming soon. So starting over at Amazon, they have a pair of the Sonic the Hedgehog sets on sale as long as you click the box for the coupon, such as the Speed Sphere set, which you can get for $28.00 down from $35, as well as the Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman's Death Egg Robot set, which normally retails for $60, but if you click the little coupon button, you can get it for 20% off and pick it up for $48. And sticking with Amazon's little coupons that they're doing, you can get the LEGO Technic Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 for 25% off, just remember to click the little coupon as well as the Lego Star Wars Luke's X-Wing for 25% off, and the Lego Star Wars Boba Fett Starship. Again, make sure you click the coupon. Then Amazon has the Lego Star Wars Dagobah Jedi Training Diorama on sale for $20 off. So you can pick it up for $70 down from $90, so a little over 20% off. Amazon still has the Lego Architecture the White House set on sale for, you know, roughly 20% off. It's $80.78 right now, down from the normal retail of $100. Sticking with Lego Architecture, the Taj Mahal set is also on sale for 20% off, and you can get it for $96. And then both Amazon and Target have the Lego Marvel Captain America Shield on sale for $32 off its normal retail price of $200. You can get it for $168, you know, just in case you missed it when it went on sale for $150 and now you're kind of having buyer's remorse. All right, that's it for this video, part one. Again, keep an eye out for part two. That'll probably post either later tonight or maybe tomorrow. It kind of just depends how long it takes me to edit that video. But if there's any deals that you were excited about this week, let me know down in the comments below. As always, I love talking to you guys about it. But as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, I'll catch you next time.